Right, what's happening? Welcome back. I'm in a good mood. Um, tomorrow we'll fly to Ireland. Uh, but before we fly to Ireland, um, a mysteriously shaped bowling ball package has come. Um, so we're going to have a look to see what's inside. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to open it. I think we'll open it from the bottom because it seems the most open bit. Okay. Um, so yeah, this package has just come. Uh, I'm excited because uh, I quite wanted one of these. Um, it's just arrived. Uh, warning for kids, don't use a razor blade. I broke the scalpel, so yeah, I'm cheaping out on it. Not very good for health and safety, but hey ho, you've got to get on with what you can get on with, innit? So um, yeah, so this package has come. Um, I'm quite excited, but as a bowler knows, um, there is two days you like in, in the year, more than any other day. Um, well, usually it's more than two days, but there's two days you like. The first day is when you win a competition. The second day is this. When you get a new bowling ball. So, it's good. This. Have a look. It is. It's a purple hammer. Who would have ever assumed it would be a purple hammer? It is good. So, there we go. There's a purple hammer unboxed. What's happening, gang? Four, half past five in the morning. We're up. We're ready. Near, near enough. We're ready to go. We're leaving for the airport in about ten minutes. Um, we will pick up the father, see what he's doing, um, and then hopefully I can take advantage of some Newcastle Airport lounge food because I need scran. I'm hungry, and I don't even think my bones is open yet. So there's my normal tradition out the window, but it's fine. I'm bowling in about nine hours, so yeah, um, I'm gonna leave now, and I'll see you on the way to the airport. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. In the airport. Yeah. I'm going to the gate now. Um, yes, yeah, we're on the way to the gate. If you're stared at here, it's uh, it's good. It's whatever. I'm going through the gate. On the flight, flight. to Ireland. On the flight to Ireland, it's pure early. But we're making it work. Um, yeah, I'll get on the plane. Going to have a football manager session. What are your thoughts on this morning? Uh, chaotic. Sorting the bags out, trying to get it way straight. Yeah, was it great? We're here in Ireland, very nice. It's uh, it's cold. Uh, we've got the car here, that's giving it the once over, make sure there's no scratches that we can get suit for. Scott Octavia, it's not a bad car, not a bad car. I've definitely seen worse cars in my time in here. The balls have all made it on time, the cases and all the balls are here, and and there's uh, some special balls in there. I'm excited. Uh, I think it's just past 10 o'clock in the, in the morning now. Uh, I don't think I'm bowling until about 6. So we got we got a while to just, you know, chill about. I'm going to go get, get checked into the hotel. And, um, yeah, check in the hotel, go to a restaurant, get some food, and we should be good. But, yeah, let's see you in a little bit. Right, righty hurt, 
it's a bit dark. Um, it's time it now. It's half past five. We're bowling in about half an hour. Um, so getting ready to start six games tonight, six games tomorrow. Then hopefully I'll qualify uh, if I make top sixteen or top twenty or something like that. Um, be interested to see how I do. Um, all we've done today really is sleep and yeah, we haven't really done much to be honest with you. But there is good food options here, so I'm impressed. Um, but we'll um, we'll go in and we'll see what the lines like, and then um, hopefully bowl more than a hundred. Sorry to interrupt the, uh, your beautiful viewing experience of my horrible bowling, but um, please consider leaving a like and even subscribing because it's really nice and it makes me feel happy and I sleep well at night. Thank you! Good morning. Um, it's day two now, and I'm lost in the hotel. Um, I'm trying to figure out where to go, and I don't really know where I'm going. Um, I've been lost in this hotel more times than I can count. But anyway, talking about yesterday, it was uh, it was it was interesting. Um, so obviously, I've not been rolling too it very long. I wasn't too sure what half my stuff does, and how it you know the attack competition pack, and now for. For a competition pattern, especially in Europe, it feels very, very dry. Um, felt feels like a house shot, ish. There's a lot, a lot of hook on the lane, a lot of friction. Um, but I mean, ironically, I threw my RSTX one, my purple hammer, my trend two, all morning. Then. So the second set of games, I picked up a defender, which is the only ball that's been in the lob, the only ball that was in my bag all morning. Ironically, that was the ball that struck and did well. Say hello to the vlog, father. Eh? Hey? Say hello to the vlog. The who? The vlog. The vlog. The vlog. Uh, couldn't get Lucas aid because I forgot to get one, I think. I don't know. I can't remember, to be honest with you. But yeah, it was a, it was a strange morning because, or a strange day I should say, because for me, it was the one ball you wouldn't have expected to work, was that actually worked really well. Um, so as far as it goes today, I think my purple hammer, obviously I just got it literally the night before we flew out. So it was a bit of a, like, oh, it's a purple hammer, I get it in the bag. And I didn't really have any better options. To be honest with you, because you need, I think the other option I have is a jagged edge, and quite honestly, it's not my favourite ball uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, also, when I transitioned from one handed to two handed, we uh, kind of guess that layout, so it's not great for me, but yeah, it is okay. Um, and to be honest, I'm surprised because Purple Hammer arrived literally yesterday. Um, yeah, no, Thursday night, um, and big up to Andy, uh, to Andy Robson, uh, Stratland Pro Shop. Got it drilled the same day, in and out, so that's sorted. I think the only change I'm making today is I know where I'm bowling, where I want to be bowling. Um, so I'm going to be um, starting with a defender, probably. The pub hammer as well, I just seem to pick up way too early. Same with a lot of my balls did, so I've got some fresh Avalon pads, going to put like a 2,000 on it or something along those lines. Um and just try and be more solid and more consistent with my spares. If I can do that, maybe average 180, I'll be happy with. Um, and hopefully, by some miracle, make the cut and bowl on Sunday. Because I've been to Ireland five times, and I don't fancy sitting in Dublin 
for the fifth time two days in a row. But yeah, I'll see you at the bowling. But first, let me get food. Day number three. How we doing? It's uh, it's half past six in the morning. It's not great. So yesterday had one fifty four, one fifty five, one fifty seven, one fifty four average after three it was all right, and then I had ninety nine, which wasn't all right. Um, yeah. I think I spared once. Flipping out, did he go? Just disappeared. I had um, one, yeah, I had one spare in the first frame, and that was about it, to be honest with you. Uh, I couldn't keep the ball on the white side of the head pin, it was a long day. However, picked it back up and cancelled it out for 172 and a 214. It's the highest I've ever bowled 200, so it's good. Um, yeah, so um, I somehow qualified, um, I think I don't, don't think I couldn't have qualified. Um, but, there it is, really but yeah, so I qualified, which now means I have to play three games at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm in the bottom, it's like half an hour away, and I need to eat. Um, yeah, so it's early. I've been up since like six o'clock, so I'll have six, and off for the whole, we'll have to get some food, and we'll get a Mackey's breakfast. But, positive is we'll be done by like half nine, so uh, we can have a good day in Dublin. Um, but these are the last three games I will play, um, because unless I bowl 250 average today, um, well, I ain't got much of a chance because it's top four and I'm 149 pins behind second, behind fourth place with three games. So I need to beat fourth and fifth by, by 149 or more. Um, it's not impossible, but you know, stranger things have happened. But it's all experience at the end of the day. We're getting closer to it. Uh, but yeah, it's too early. I need food. Lovely premier win, I will, I will say. Um, so yeah, we'll um, we'll see you at the McDonald's because I want food. If anyone's ever wondered what a ballpark at a European event looks like, this is it. They're my balls. But uh, as you can tell, it's uh, it's big. It's quite organised this one. Um, most of them aren't usually organised, but this is actually quite neat. I'll give, uh, I will give that to them. But purple is here. It's ready for today. There we go, 
Right. So, that's it for uh, for the Irish Open this year. Uh, there was only three games today, uh, as unfortunately I uh, didn't make the top four for the stepladder finals, or sorry, the round-robin finals. Uh, however, probably bowled the best I've ever bowled two-handed. I had a 167, a 210, and a 164 for, I believe, a 542 series, which was enough to get me into the uh, podium places, not podium places, sorry, the cash-in places, uh, made a bit of money, had some bants, it's been a good tournament, I've really enjoyed myself, and uh, the purple hammer carried me all weekend is all I can say. Um, and now, I'll fly back tomorrow, um, but tonight we're just going to enjoy ourselves, have a nice day, tomorrow we're going to get ready to go home, and uh, yeah. What are your opinions on the event this weekend? Yeah, it's good as always, that's fine. What else am I supposed to say? <laughs> You're supposed to play. I mean, you've come away with some money. I have, I have. Although I spent more money to feed you to come away with less money. I have, I have. But that doesn't make much of a business sense. But it makes fun. For you, maybe, yes. Yeah. yeah. Not for my dad's pocket, but when's bowling ever good for your pocket, eh? Anyway, this is the end of the video. Uh, I appreciate it. it's a long one. And if you have somehow lasted, like, all 16 minutes of this, then thank you, um, firstly, uh, and secondly, please uh, find it in your heart to leave a like and subscribe if you're feeling generous. And even comment and let me know how crap I was all weekend. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm in Stroud next week, so there will be another vlog. But until next time, I'll see you later.